Yo. Hey, everybody straight. Mm-hmm. We good? Yeah, we Gucci. This is everybody. Hey, you know, we're sponsored by Costa Studios and the uh, Mag Juice. And it's the only place where you bring the topic. And, you know, it's your boy J-Mac, and I'm always on point like a Sharpie. Yo, it's your boy Banks in the building. Your favorite homegirl, Mia, is back. Okay. Hey, y'all. She said she back. <laughs> oh, yeah, you ain't been on the job for two weeks, ain't it? Because I was out of town. This shit's yeah. crazy. She ain't fucking with us. She and I was out of town. She was out of town the next week. We Hot both girl. Dallas type shit. It's the fact that we was in the same place, and I didn't even think to say, Bruh, hey, what you doing? <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah. I thought about it, like, literally after. I was like, damn, Mia was just here the same time I was here. But fuck it. Uh, today, the topic is, why can't you be a good person anymore? Uh, I'm going to let Mia start this off. All right, y'all. So, I, most everybody out here, you know, you got a little sneaky link, a whoop the woo a little boo, whatever you want to call it, you know what I'm talking about? So, (laughs) um, sir, (laughs) okay, we are, we are fuck nigga free, but, (laughs) let's go, shout out to Hit Kid and Glorilla, her, um, damn, I just lost my train of thought, nah, you were saying you got the sneaky, (laughs) you you got, you got your little sneaky link, little the boo, you know what I'm saying, so, I be, I've been trying to figure out why, like, you know, I seen a tweet, it was like a week or two ago, where they was like, it's wrong for you to basically, like, if your sneaky link hungry, it's wrong for you to bring them something to eat. Because y'all just supposed to be having sex. <laughs> and I said, damn, that kind of fucked up. If I'm finna go to Zaxby's and give me some chicken and shit, and I'm going to just bring my chicken over there, and you're just sitting there looking at me eat the shit. Like, I feel like it's a little fucked up for you to do that. And also, it's a fucking plate from Zaxby's, they hold like ten dollars at a max. It's really not that expensive. So I just wanted to get y'all opinion on why y'all feel like it's wrong to to bring somebody a plate or be cool, be nice at I this point. I don't, I don't I ain't against this shit. If if I'm on the way to make a plate, I'll be like, hey you want something to eat when I stop because I always stop at the stove before I go somewhere. So I'd be like, hey you want something to eat or you need something at the stove before I pull up. Shit. They I mean you let me come over there so shit at least I can do is Get you something to eat or or you a little drink, a little Sprite or something, you know what I'm saying? I feel like there's common courtesy though. I mean I feel I it is. maybe because I feel like no offense, I hate to be that person, but I be feeling like you niggas, you come in my house, you know you finna get some ass. The least you can do is bring a bitch something to eat. I'll f I will i will do it. I ain't gonna Rule ain't number gonna one. What? Don't love these hoes. How is a meal loving the hoes? I don't think a meal loving the hoes. Come on, what's man. The, what's, the, what's the fastest way to get to somebody's heart? Food. Food. <laughs> That's that, that, no. You're not trying to fall in love with the link. Why would you? How are you going to fall in love because you bought the bitch a four for four? I don't get it. Like, guess I don't, what? Well, guess some what? people love language is food. Yeah, I- Okay, that no, dumbass uh, shit. Hey, <laughs> look, like, for real. Look. Some people be saying this shit. Think about it like this. When you get to eating what you in, communion, you're going to be sitting there talking it up, getting annoyed. You just there to get that little action. And then you try to get up out of there. Okay, but, but so if, you mean if I bring you... you some food, we going to sit there and eat. We going to talk a little bit. You know you what I'm right. saying? We going to have some little shit going. Right. Now I'm getting to know you and shit. I'm saying though, but you can still get out of there though. Yeah. After that, you can still leave. I know I can. Yeah, I'm not saying you can't leave, but now the front end... You done just invested a little, a little more time and you playing it on in the front end. Cause you gotta let her eat. That's like if you take a bitch to get some chicken, cheese, and rice. You know you you know he just took you on a thigh meal. You know you finna have to get that ass up. You know what I'm saying? I think the food a plus though, cause you're not finna just pull up and just y'all get straight to it. I, I mean, some people do. That yeah, some, some people, people do, you know do, do that, but I, really? I don't there are people out here who literally pull up. You dropping them. They, y'all don't even say, hey, how was your day? Like, wow. you, you just doing it. I like that. And then it's like, all right, I'm going to fuck with you. It's like Kill Bill when you step on the scene. Damn. Bam. But I mean, that's that's it's different for different people, I guess. Because me personally, I like to talk. It's not because I want to be your bitch. I just be liking to talk. If you want to talk about I'm your just, personal life, that cool. Shit, I'm a social ass okay. I'm a social ass nigga. So I'll, I'll talk to you a little minute. But see, I, I get what you saying. But I, I feel like it's the, I feel like something else too. I feel like you are right. Like you be too nice to somebody, they do. People think you like them and shit. Yeah, like, and it's not. Like, and it's like I, oh I hate that God. narrative, bro. Because I done already told you this is what I came here for. 
I'm the type of person, if I like you, I'm going to tell you. But that don't mean I want to be with you, bro. Just because I like you, that does not equate to I want to be your bitch. That's, that is not That's another it. thing people need to understand, bro. If somebody like it, it don't mean they want to be with you type shit. <laughs> people, need to, people need to accept that shit too, bro. Toxic generation. Some people can't accept the fact that somebody like them and don't want to be with them. That's really some crazy ass shit if y'all really think about it. It what? is. But like, I like you, but I don't want to be with you. But I mean, you have to think about it person Like me, I like a couple people, but I don't want to be in a relationship right now, which is why I'm not doing this shit. So you can't be mad because I don't want to date you, even though I've literally told you that that's not what I'm trying to do right now. So since it's not the fact that I wouldn't do the shit. It's just I don't want to do it right now. So since you say that, would it be wrong if you stop talking to people because you like them? Can you tell me what sense that makes? I, I you saw you just threw me off. I, I had I some shit I was going to say, but I can't. I probably even... said it wrong. No, I'm, said... I get what you're saying. You're saying, like, if you like them that much, you're going to stop talking to them because you like them so much that you're not going to like the fact that if they talking to other people and shit like that, no, right? No, no, no. I'm saying, like, if you, you said you said you're going to talk, you said you can be, you can like somebody and not be with them, right? Right. Maybe we need to stop being so nice to them that way they won't think that shit. And you can't change yourself. But y'all got to remember, bro. We live in the relationship goals yeah. generation. So, like, you got to think. People are really inspiring to be fucking Lil Dirk in India. Phew. The trenches. So, like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> nigga, nigga, nigga. That shit weird. People, ah, people want to emulate those type of relationships. There's people out here who Moneybag and Ari are the staple relationship. And it's like, are you dead ass? Like, like this nigga got eight kids. Like, buddy, just like Lil Dirk. I think this shit weird. Perkyo. <laughs> they really call that nigga Perkyo, bro. And he be responding to this shit. And he's getting a bag off of it. Yeah. That's, that's some good I marketing. Think that's I that's think some that good marketing weird. skills right yeah, there. I also think it's weird because you know how many ops that mine got. And you walk around and somebody think you him. Like... What you gonna do in this situation? Be a be a bad, be a sad death. <laughs> For real, I know you saw that six nine shit. That man was that man was scared. The need that look the like the video, shit, yeah, that man was scared in that video. That yeah. shit crazy, but but that's what that like. I get what you saying. Like you like you can be you can be decent person like that. But sometimes I feel like bro, when you be too nice and shit, people take advantage of you. Oh so like God. you can't just be like overly nice. Not saying like you can't you can't bring the person you fucking some starburst. You know what I'm saying? That is something simple like you know it's just nothing. Now I'm reaching on it. Now I, I will agree. <laughs> I'm reaching on it, but it's just like like I said, sometimes people take advantage of you when you too so nice. So what do you categorize as being too nice? I'm 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 hard on the whole like the flow, you did. <laughs> but like it's a lot of people I know that are just too nice. Like they just let too much shit fly. Like they be and they, and people try to play them a certain way because they know they nice ass people. Like literally, like if you from Memphis, you know, motherfucker, call you nice. That shit damn near an insult. It is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you damn a, near. It is. It's an insult. An insult. <laughs> it's an insult. You a nice ass nigga. You that's <laughs> you pluck. You play. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice as hell. But I mean, do you you can't really change yourself like that though, because if you if that's your personality, like I'm nice. I'm, I'm friendly as fuck, but I do got smart ass mouth. Motherfuckers ain't around here saying me a nice ass. I'm finna get off on me a little nice ass. Well, first of all, they don't get close enough to talk to me <laughs> <laughs> to be trying to get off. But I just, I just think personally, human decency just don't. You know, maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm too naive. Maybe that's what it is. But I be feeling like it ain't nothing. Or maybe it's me, and because I really don't feel like buying somebody something to eat is anything extravagant. You know how motherfuckers be saying, if a nigga buy you something to eat, that's tricky. I'm like, no, it's not, ma'am. No, it's not. Uh, we, we, somehow, every week, we manage to get to this. <laughs> <laughs> we manage to get to it every I, I, week. I, I'm not going to take it there. I'm just saying, like, I don't be understanding why people classify certain things like, oh, you can't do this with your sneaky link or your woot the woo because this is not sneaky link or woot the woo characteristics. But I'm like, what your relationship with them is is what you define it to be, not what other people define it to be. All right. So right. if y'all decide y'all going to do certain shit, that's going to be y'all business. But it seemed like everybody wanted to keep putting like all these generalizations like, oh, this is all you can do with your sneaky link. This is all you can do. And I'm like, but why? Like, you can be cool with somebody and do other shit. Like, I don't I don't be getting it. Yeah, you ain't fucking with them. So what, what you trying to tell me what to do for? I just think it's like a society thing. Like, back in the day, like, 
I don't think people was just open about how how like who they was fucking and how and they right. and giving them relationship status. You know what I'm saying? Like if you had a side bitch back in the day, she was just a side bitch. You're not giving her a title like a sneaky leg. You know what I'm saying? Right, yeah. right. You're not giving her like it was already the, understood. You know what I'm saying? Like. Friends with benefits. You know we got so many labels on shit now, and we be open about it. You know what I'm saying? That shit crazy. But I don't be feeling like there's one specific label to fit in, though. Because, like, people be like, you know, when you friends with benefits, that mean you actually cool with the motherfucker. Like, y'all will go see a movie or something, like, as friends or hang out, and y'all be fucking. But, like, with the sneaky link, apparently you just supposed to link with them and leave. But motherfuckers be saying, this my sneaky link, and they be going on dates. So I be like, I don't understand but, what's going on. But that's what I'm saying. It's because we got, like, the constructs of social, like, social like ideas that we think certain things have to be. Mm -hmm. That's even with being like nice and shit. Like, cause just what you said about your relationship with friends, like people think that you supposed to have a best friend and you supposed to do more for your best friend cause they your best friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Which ain't necessarily true. Like, right. cause I don't feel like I have a best friend. Like I feel like that's fucked up to even say or value one person more than I value somebody else. Right. Okay. I, I so mean, like, yeah. it, and like I'm saying, like in, Older days, you know what I'm saying? It was like, this was just shit you just didn't say. Mm -hmm. But now we got so many different ways to categorize yeah. shit. We got a word for everything. Yeah. And we coming <laughs> up with new words for everything. So, of course. The like, sneaky link just popped up. What was that? 20, 2019, 2020? No, I'm saying. That didn't even exist. I didn't even know what a sneaky link was before it was a sneaky link. Bless it, baby, and shit. <laughs> what the fuck? My little pussy. Baby, <laughs> sneaky link side chick. You know what I'm saying? Booty call. We got so many different yeah. words. Like it's just crazy. And, and the problem is, like I said, you got a standard to how you supposed to treat all of these people based off how people think they should be labeled. You know what I'm saying? Because if if Ant my best friend, they gonna think I'm supposed to go above and beyond for Ant because they think he my best friend. Right. Yeah. But that's just what people think. Mm -hmm. So just like you, like you a sneaker. If you a sneaker link, you just pulling up niggas just supposed to be smashing. Wham, wham, get out of there. Why the fuck is he buying you something to eat? But who's to say that his definition of a sneaker link doesn't include him buying you something to eat? Facts. But what does society think? Well, yeah, society thinks you're just supposed to get in there and get out. Fuck society. <laughs> because it's like people I feel like you can't even live your life normally no more because everybody want to have an opinion on what you doing or how you doing what you doing in your life uh, I mean yeah like you you can't even be yourself or like do some shit that you would normally do for somebody because they gonna be like oh that's just your sneaky link you not supposed to be doing that like who the fuck asked you bruh I, I swear a girl had told me this like some weeks ago she was like I know you be a clear P you so open I'm like I'm open cause I'm talking to everybody like this is what I'm supposed to do <laughs> I'm in a social setting like this is for us to eat laugh drink and shit like that like what else you want me to do what else can you do how else can you be social? That's how they oh, was like, social damn. in the Bible. Well, a lot of people, you know, well, I had said, but like a lot of people don't want their partners or people that they want to talk to to be social. We ain't together. So, I, the fuck? She, maybe she was trying to make you her mans and she didn't want her man, mans look, to be talking. Look, I'm a sucker for conversation. If a motherfucker want to give me a conversation, I'm going to talk to them. <laughs> For real. Like, that's just how I, that's just how I am. I'm not going to change that shit. Like, if a motherfucker come to me and want to talk to me, I'm going to talk to them. You never know what you might, you never know who you talking to. You never know what you might hear type shit. But that's because you have that type of mindset. Everybody don't think like, oh, this person could change your life in some of the wildest ways you never would have thought of just by having a simple conversation. And but I, most people are not going to think of that because they're going to be like, oh, yeah, this friendly ass nigga here. Like, and I hate that this shit like that, bro, because you can't be nice to nobody without them saying, oh, that nigga a hoe and See, all that other shit. This off topic, but it's like, if you didn't. Like, if you was a nigga, like, girls be mad if, like, girl ain't trying to fuck with no nigga that ain't got no hoes. But they not trying to fuck with no nigga that got all the hoes. You, so have, to, you have to be, like, the, in, I don't, <laughs> you have to be, in like, listen, you have to be in, like, a mid-ground. And I hate what? to say that. You have to be in, like, she a mid-ground. Like, you have to have some hoes, but you can't have, like, seven hoes. Like, you gotta have, like, at least, like, three but or four. But it's seven hoes even really a lot of hoes? No. Because you're not talking to all of them yeah, every day. depending <laughs> on what type... Again, back to the road shit. Uh, depending on what type of role they playing. Yo. I mean, but it also just depends on how much they ask for, too, with, with the hoes. Like, if they want more attention, they gonna ask for it. 
It's up to you whether or not you're going to give it to them. But it's always going to be one hoe that want the most attention. Then it's going to be one that'll talk to you twice a week. Or not even that often, but they'll talk to you when they want some shit. And then they won't talk to you ever again. Facts. So, I mean. Right. It'll, it'll be women. It's a woman that told me that we used to talk and I never took on a date. All we did was text. Y'all did talk. <laughs> no, she made it seem like that we were like. Mine. Like in her like, mind, in her mind, y'all were doing that. I, Women are delusional. I hate to be that. I person. told you, <laughs> a chick, a, a chick convinced me. Like I ain't know if you gonna kick it with a chick. That that way it threw me off about a date. A chick told me I was dating a chick. Just I used to go kick it with the chick. Oh, you were dating. I went to the movies. I kicked it at the house. People I'm don't. Like, people do not understand the definition of what actual dating is. Like. I be going to the movies with my homeboys all the time, and like they be, they bitches would be like, "Oh, you you going out with the me a hoe?" I'm like, "Bro, we don't even do no shit That's like why that." Why we gotta take labels off all this? I was shit, like, we bro. don't even do shit like that. We just be going to go see the Avengers, bro. This, this label <laughs> shit fucking niggas up. So you said, so you think that <clears throat> if we if we took labels off shit, that'll take conditions off of shit. So like, you could just be a better part. Like, you could be genuinely nice now. Or and and people wouldn't be so skeptical. Yeah, oh. people really are very skeptical of you being nice. Like I'm like, dude, it's not that deep. Like for for like, I feel like getting somebody something to eat is kind of like a bare bottom tier minimum. Like, and it's not like a requirement, but like you buying somebody to eat, I feel like there's some small. Like it's not like you, oh, this nigga paying my bills. That that that's a little bit more like up up the levels of tears, but like somebody buying you something to eat is just so low tier. It's like, are you dead ass? Like I'd rather for a sneaky link to ask me for a, a for a meal than a pay her bills. <laughs> I tell you that. So I tell you I that mean... shit. <laughs> my, 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 I ain't gonna say that. Cause I do do that. I ain't even gonna <laughs> <laughs> and then my mama was gonna say some shit, so I ain't even gonna say shit. But I, I just don't see. I don't see why. But again, you just quantify shit again based off of how society would value that shit. No, that's how I would value it. Cause somebody else, I mean, it ain't it ain't shit to pay rent. You know what I'm and saying? That's what I'm saying. Everybody do different things. That's why I'm saying like. Why is it that we can't be ourselves with everybody? Why we can't just do what we want to do in every relationship, whether it's a sneaky link or I actually want to be with them. Maybe I want to date them. Maybe I don't. Like, why is it that we can't just do what we want to do and live our lives and then, but but everybody else want to still have opinions? Like, that shit don't work to me. Oh, I'm going to do what I want to do. I mean, I yeah. <laughs> I don't give a damn. <laughs> I don't care who watching this shit. I ain't talking to nobody. Hey, I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do. I'll, I'm going to have fun. No matter where I go. I mean, I feel like you should be able to do that, though. Why is it that there's such stipulations where you can't live your life the way you want to, though? Some folks be, bro, I don't know. Like, some folks be jealous of this shit. Like, damn, you you always out having fun. I'm like, damn, nigga, what you want me to do? (laughs) Go outside sometimes. No way I go outside. Make some new friends. Uh, I don't want to go outside. I'm I'm just this type person. I'm a homebody. You know what I'm saying? Like, See, look, that's actually... I'm not going to get completely off topic, but I'm going to just say this and then we're going to go back to it. But I got to arguing last week or the week, it was last week, about how people just need companionship. And I compared the club to church because I think they're hi- highly similar. Yeah, they're highly similar. Yeah. I, to anybody who's ever been to both, you know what I'm saying? I even went as far to say deacons are bottle girls. But you know what I'm saying? I was making a, I was trying to make a point. <laughs> But, you know what I'm saying? People need companionship. No matter if it's getting on the game. What what When you play the game and you in the game with everybody, what is it called? A party. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It's not called a party for no reason. Exactly. Right. Your, your, your headsets don't got amplifiers and a microphone for Kobe no the reason. the best time of their life in their party, too. <clears throat> That's what I'm saying. So, it's like you need social companionship. Mm-hmm. So, it's like, it's like damn. You like know how you saying? get said companionship is really up to you. Facts, but but like for them to say like I don't want to go out and do this, it's like what well, shit? What do you do for companionship? As a human, you will die. A baby will die with no attention. Right, right. So you can bash a nigga like tell aunt, well you out here we well shit you you doing something too though? You ain't not getting no companionship because you would die. Exactly. It's, 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 it's as simple as that. I, bro, I get, like, if one of y'all hit me up, hey, you trying to go, hell yeah. I don't give a fuck where is it. I know I'm finna go talk to people if I go. 
I ain't gonna lie like I'm gonna say hell yeah, but I'm a, I'm gonna for yeah. sure check. I'm gonna for sure see what I got going. Be like, yeah. let me see what I got going. I mean, if, yeah, if yeah. it's one of y'all, cause I fuck with y'all, but yeah. like, mm-hmm. yeah, it that can't makes be sense. anybody though. Yeah, Thanks. but I mean, it, it it just it just like you said with the companionship topic. Like, I like that comparison for one. I like that comparison. That was a very solid comparison. Yeah, yeah. Church and the club. It's a very solid comparison. But like with companionship, like you said, it is a need. So it's like how you get that companionship is really up to you. If you get the companionship from having multiple bitches, that's just that's how you're gonna get the companionship. Correct. Oh. How you treat those different bitches, if how you treat them <laughs> is all depending on you. Maybe you like one of them more than you like the other ones. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? It's up to you. So I just don't see why people try to put so many stipulations on companionship. Like I want to be loved. I want to be appreciated sometimes. I don't want to be in a nigga face every day, but sometimes I do be wanting to lay up and shit. <laughs> After I get what I need to get, I fuck with you. All right. You off your soapbox. <laughs> <laughs> she got on me out for sure. She I mean, I'm just saying, I don't, I don't be getting it, bro. Like, I just feel like human decency should be normal and you shouldn't have any stipulations on human decency. You should be able to be yourself with anybody. What you think, it? I agree. Go ahead and have fun. Man. Do what the fuck you want to do. Do what you want to do. <laughs> That's it, bro. Live your the fuck life. You do, do it like it's your B day. Do it like it's your B day. Take Baby. risks, bro. Take some fucking risks. Not risks. Man. Look, man, look. And this was everybody ain't able. You know what I'm saying? It's sponsored by Co Star Studios and the Mag Juice. And you know. It's the only place where you can say what you want to say. And it's your boy J Mac, and I'm always on point like a Sharpie. Yo, your boy Banks in the building. Your favorite homegirl, man. And we're just going to take a little toast to everybody not being able to say what they want to say. Yep. <laughs> and we out. I need someone to help me. Help me. I know that you can't feel me. Feel me. When you meet the real me, the real me It's something that you can't see, can't see I need someone to help me, help me I know that you can't feel me, feel me When you meet the real me, the real me It's something that you can't see